The Walking Dead Season 5 Episode 6 Consumed. Definitely a really good episode. It was a nice focus on Carol where all the flashbacks that we saw were just really big moments for her character. The first one was when Rick kind of kicked her out of the group and we saw her in the car and I think that was my favorite one out of the flashbacks because the other ones were kind of really small moments and she was just staring at something or kind of walking away from something like it was no big deal but in the very first scene when she was kicked out of the group it was really emotional she was in the car she was crying and you know the zombie comes up to the car and she's actually yelling at the zombie like you know get out of here and I thought that was a really great moment but even without the flashbacks the focus on Carol and Daryl I think is one of the biggest things it's like the big ship of the entire series but it was really good. We got to see them reconnect after such a long time. And they told a lot of story through things where they didn't really talk about it. Like, they just showed it. It was like, they're smart enough to know something bad happened. If one person left and they you know that they were with two kids and then they came back and there were no kids, you kind of know what happened. And Daryl doesn't ask Carol about the details, but... He knows that it was bad. He doesn't bother asking about crappy details, and that's why he didn't want her to deal with killing the mother zombie and those kids because he knew, like, you already had to deal with seeing two kids get killed off because you were with kids and suddenly you're not. So I really love that. It's like these characters, they're just, I mean, it's kind of, it's almost common sense, like, you know, in a zombie apocalypse, but it was just well done, and I, I really enjoyed that. And we got to see the characters bonding while trying to go save Beth, and it was just really good. We got to see some really crazy stuff happen in this, especially the ending. I was not expecting Carol to end up in the hospital that way. I kind of thought, okay, she kind of broke her arm in the fail in the fall, so it, you know it kind of made sense. They'd end up running into the people, and she would say, "All right, I'm gonna go out and say like, hey, I was running from some zombies. I got injured. Yada yada yada." Can you guys help? And I thought that's how that was going to go. Although I wasn't thinking about the fact that she was completely knocked out when they pulled, you know, took her in in the other episode. But that's kind of how I thought things were going to go. When she got hit by that car, I was like, whoa, that kind of came out of nowhere. I was not expecting that. But it was a really great episode. We got to see them bond really well. We got to see some pretty interesting action scenes. We got to see Noah kind of take their weapons. And then he kind of ended up screwing up because he's not really adept at fighting zombies he was in there i believe for about a year or so and it, it was just cool like i knew that that's kind of how things would play out because i could tell like obviously we saw i think two episodes ago that daryl came back with someone and you kind of figured it was no after the episode where we got to focus on beth but you know we got to really see him not exactly do the best like he's not really prepared for that even with a machine gun and you know bow and arrow he's not prepared for that type of stuff so it was really cool and it was a great scene when um daryl just like tackled him and the thing fell on him and daryl was kind of like you know he helped him out in the beginning when carol was gonna shoot him in the leg and it was just really cool he had it was actually like a really badass moment for him like he just like i, I when he started smoking i just i watched it and then i started thinking like does he even smoke like i don't think i've ever seen him do that before and it was just kind of funny and he was like you know I helped you out before and you almost got her killed and I care about her a million times more than I care about you. So I'm just going to leave you like, hey, we got our weapons. Let's just get out of here. And then, you know, right when he's knows about to get killed, he just turns around and shoots the bow. And it's just like, man, like he doesn't have like any expression. It's just like, yeah, I did it. No big deal. And it was just kind of a funny. It was funny because it was so badass and I wasn't expecting that. But at the same time, it's Daryl, so I probably should have. But I really loved the episode. It was a great focus on Carol and Daryl and getting to see them bond. And, you know, like I said, the stuff at the end when Carol got hit by the car, I was not expecting it. But I'm really, really excited for what's going to come up next. And I knew that's how things were going to go with Rick and his group having to go up against these people in the hospital because they wouldn't just let Beth and Carol go because they're insane. So I knew that's exactly how things were going to go. And it was... You know, I'm excited to see how that plays out because, you know, they're going in for two people, but with this show being the way it is, you never know who they're going to end up losing or, for that matter, who they might end up gaining because odds are they aren't going to end up taking over the hospital and staying in there permanently. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, especially with them going in there. It's like, okay, we, we got Beth and we got Carol. 
we possibly gained a couple other people who were also kind of stuck just like Noah was for a long time. And as safe as this place is, you know, as safe as it can be at least, we do still kind of have to get to Washington because none of us know the truth. So I'm really excited to see how things play out and just how crazy things get when they go up and really attack this hospital. So I'm excited for that. There's still going to be a couple of people left at the church, so there's going to be some story there. I think that's going to be more of the exposition where we just hear the characters kind of bonding and talking about the world that they live in now, which I feel like we haven't really had, at least not with the characters um, I saw in the preview, which was Carl and Michonne, and we're going to get some of the preacher, I can't think of his name right now, Father Gabriel. So I'm expecting a little bit of, like, that'll be like the talking side of the story, and it won't be too suspenseful, but... I'm still excited for that just because they've gone through a little bit, especially with the Terminus stuff. It's just another thing for them to reflect on now that they're in a little bit safer of a position. And, you know, they also dealt with not only getting out of Terminus, but taking out the last of the Terminus people. And, you know, just before that, losing Bob to the Terminus people. So it they have this time to reflect, and we're going to get to see that in, in the next episode. And it also seems like it focuses on the Washington group and you know what the heck they're planning on doing and the way they showed it it seemed like they were still going to go to washington because they were they're still at that really long stretch of road where it was just a giant farm with ironically a giant herd of zombies but i highly doubt that's what's going to take place but either way i'm really excited we only have i believe two more episodes for this year and you know who knows what the heck's going to happen in the fall finale you know that's kind of the big thing the fall finale so I'm excited for that. This was a really great episode. It actually had some pretty good action scenes. It was some cool moments. Daryl was just naturally badass. We got to see Carol really be like kind of philosophical in this episode, talking about how you know she's changed and how Daryl's changed, and them showing the flashbacks and just how things were different. Like she was really tough when she kind of burned the two bodies. She kind of killed those people. Like one person at least was still alive she burned those bodies to try to save everyone else and she was just stern about that and then her actually getting kicked out of the group she was kind of she was really saddened by that so it was really cool to get those flashbacks and just see her development and kind of the ups and downs of her being really strong but also feeling really weak after kind of having such a strong moment even if people don't exactly agree with that moment which of course they didn't at the time but i love the episode of course Comment below, let me know what you guys thought about it, your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And, you know, next episode is the beginning of the battle between Rick's group and the hospital people. So, you know, who are we going to lose? Like, if you had to guess, how would you guys say it's going to go? Because, like I said already, with the show being The Walking Dead, as much as I would love for them to be like, you know... You know, everyone's gonna survive and you know hey we just kind of technically we just killed bob off so we aren't gonna kill anyone else off i'd love to think that but honestly you never really know with this show like they could easily just kill off like four people and it would just be like sad like yep it happened and that's just you know a sad thing you're gonna have to deal with but i'm hoping it plays out really well and no one gets hurt like they have those scary moments like someone got shot or stabbed or something like that but they make it out but I'm really hoping that we don't lose anyone. But, you know, what do you guys think is going to end up happening? Comment below, let me know. And thanks for watching.